All right, well, let's take it inside to Wayne, introduce our next fighters of the afternoon. Please welcome to the lower corner, Vincent Sandoval. We got another debuter, another flyweight fight on our hands. These guys are always pretty quick paced. Last flyweight fight we saw was Perez versus Ramon, and that was just a grappling clinic. These flyweights are always fun, they don't really gas, they fight at a fast pace. Yeah, Sandoval making his way out right now. Debut fighter, showing some good shadow boxing in his intro video there. Love to see, that's all the information we have on him. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, makes it fun. But he'll be in the blue corner. Taking that first walk, coming out. Got the cut man in front of your face, getting the grease on for the first time. This is all real, this is all, it's official. I'm I'm checking my cup, I'm, yeah, I have my mouthpiece, I'm ready to go, yep. all for the first time. You know, these are just some pretty overwhelming emotions he could be experiencing. As he's making his way in, last little word there for him. Now let's go ahead and meet his opponent. Welcome to the red corner, Luis Robles. Yeah, Cody, you were talking about the psychology of greasing up, and it's so funny, even as a pro, you know, I'm like 30 something pro fights deep, and anytime I grease my face up in training, I, I get a weird sense of the fight game, because this is like the last kind of friendly thing you feel before the fight is the grease. It smells the same, it feels a little, a little weird, yep. and that's like the last human contact you get before the real human yeah, contact exactly. begins. So I always really enjoyed that process. I always kind of imagine it as my, my last final piece of armor before yes. I go into battle. Yes. And I, I always like when the, when the greasemen over grease opposed right. to under grease. I always ask them, like, can you grease my mouth? Can you grease my lips and my nose and my ears? And they're like, I can yeah. do everything but your ears. And I'm like, all right. Lewis Robles right now, he's getting that grease treatment. He has a 1-0 no record representing Blitz MMA. He got a little bit of experience there. He got a split decision victory against Eddie Ortiz in his last fight out. So he's about to make his way into the red corner. Looking to pick up a second victory here tonight. A couple young guys, you see the tail of the tape there, 17 against 21. Weight pretty much the same here, height the same and reach is identical. So pretty well, again, very well matched fight. So we'll take it inside to Wayne here to get our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Howler Head Whiskey is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury Amateur Series Flyweight Division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing the South Side Fight Club in San Antonio, Texas. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and he weighed in officially at 125.8 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, today he makes his amateur debut. This is Vincent Sandoval. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, representing Blitz MMA. He stands five feet seven inches tall and weighed in at 124.8 pounds. Fighting out of Waco, Texas, he holds an amateur record of one win, no losses. This is Luis Your referee in charge of the action, Aaron Menard. All right, cage doors have been locked. Both fighters hopping, ready to go. This one is underway. 17 versus 21, that's awesome. Very young. Robles in the red gloves, Sandoval in the blue gloves. Yeah, quick start from these flyweights. A couple of good exchanges to get the pace set here for this one. A little Superman punch there, I like that. Nice, yeah, Robo's little running gun, that was cool. <laughs> Classic uh, rhetoric that. from the from the crowd. Love that. Oh, Ooh, man! Big shot there from Robles, and he's on top looking to finish now. Man, so that's where being young helps. Sandoval shot as Robles threw a round kick, and his knee just clipped him right in the temple. All over him here. It looks like that's going to be man, it. Robles yeah. gets a quick finish. 
Man, that knee was rough. We'll see in the replay. Yeah, he just caught him very swiftly in that transition. Yeah, that, that's how uh, that's how Aljamain Sterling got caught by Marlon Moraes. He just shot right into a switch kick, and, and it was the knee of, a, of an intended kick that just lands right on the temple. And, and man, honestly, Sandoval dealt with it kind of well, but man, yeah. Robles was all over him with the ground and pound. Yeah, he was able to get on top and just storm him there. Yeah, Robles picking up the uh, TKO victory. Looks like we'll have a word with our winner from Alex here in a moment. As you see here in the replay, some good striking there from Robles to get the fight going. Kind of setting the tone. We'll see the finish here in a moment. You see the transition. And then the shot lands. Here's the ground and pound at the end. He's passing the guard. He's able to get to a dominant position. The referee decides, I've had enough. And we'll go inside here to Wayne, get our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Aaron Menard calls for a stop to the fight. 48 seconds into the very first round, declaring our winner by TKO, Luis Robles. Now we'll go inside and have a word from our winner with Alex. Winner. Uh, man, that was such an awesome pace. You had thrown that round kick right as he shot, and your knee actually connected and dropped him. You were all over him. You know, what were you expecting in this fight? Man, I just came to do my thing, bro. Uh, last time I fought was all the way in uh, October. And I broke my hand in that fight. I come from a long layoff. And I just been working, man. I love the golf. And I mean, what I did there was just leading with the knee. That's just technique one on one, you know? Yeah, man, that was awesome. 21 years old, you know, undefeated still. When can we expect to see you back in this cage? Hey, Sap, I didn't take any, any damage. So, man, that's crazy. I visualized all of that. <laughs> Well, congratulations, you guys. You're a winner, Robles, by TKO. Awesome job. Yeah, congratulations there to Luis Robles picking up the TKO victory. You can see him getting a little emotional there. You know how much this means to him. He says, I envisioned that, man. That's wild. So we'll go to Wayne.